the work that we have done, the direction that we have taken to transform this country, the intent in the willpower the government has shown has not even been visible in the last 48 years. We are openly challenging comparison and we are taking it to the public because they have voted us. We are responsible when we occupy this platform, we are responsible to the people who voted us. And therefore, with all humility and accountability and responsibility, we are stating the work that the NDA government, the Narendra Modi Sarkar has done in the last 48 months, which has not even been done in the last 48 years of rule of a single family. We have changed the governance of this country. We have focused on development of all segments in this country, from rural women to farmers, to youth, to creating a, an atmosphere of confidence in India by the rest of the nations in this world, and thereby strengthening the country and moving in a direction where we can make the India of our dreams. And so our actions of development through good governance has been for a transformative India, a new India, an India of our dreams. I will, of course, take this opportunity now to take you through the presentations. It's going to be a long presentation, so I seek your patience in that. I'll try and hurry as, as fast as possible. And uh, with that a short uh, brief, I'll get on to the presentation. Thank you. तो आप ये सीधी तस्वीर देख रहे थे कोयम्बटूर से जहां पर सूचना प्रसारण मंत्री कर्नल राज्यवर्धन राठौर पहुंचे प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की केंद्र की चार साल की सरकार के पूरे होने के मौके पर और उस संबोधन में उन्होंने साफ तौर पर इस बात का जिक्र किया कि कैसे सबका साथ सबका विकास के नारे को जमीन पर उतारने की कोशिश की गई चाहे ग्रामीण भारत की बात हो शहरी भारत की बात हो महिलाओं की बात हो युवाओं की बात हो सबके सपनों को पूरा करने के लिए लगातार काम किया गया है और एक न्यू इंडिया के विजन के लिए जिसके लिए आगे बढ़ा जा रहा है कैसे उस विजन पर आगे बढ़ सबके सपने पूरे करने की कोशिश लगातार की जा रही है इस बात को विस्तार से रेखांकित कर रहे थे और इसके अलावा यहाँ पर वह एक प्रेजेंटेशन भी दिया जा रहा है कि किस प्रकार से अभी तक का काम हुआ है आइए एक बार फिर से चलते हैं कोयम बठूर रिसाइड्स इन द रूरल एरियाज देर इज अ वेरी लार्ज इंडिया दैट इज नॉट प्रिविलेज एंड देर फॉर हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ देयर हाउसेज हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ फंडिंग फॉर देयर प्रोजेक्ट हु टेक्स केयर ऑफ देयर हेल्थ who takes care of their self respect who makes this india empowered to then strengthen the country 2014 when the prime minister from the red fort said that i'm going to focus on opening of bank accounts a very large number of people in our country could not understand as to what is the reason why is the prime minister emphasizing on the bank accounts four years down the line 31 crore bank accounts have been opened and this is not just bank accounts this is the pathway to an empowered country an empowered nation this is the pathway because as you will see in the slides ahead that all the benefits and all major portion of the corruption has been stopped because of opening of these bank accounts banks have al always existed in our country for centuries banks have existed but can you believe that banks that existed it centuries ago did not give access to people in the 21st century there are 31 crore people that in this country of ours who had no access to banks in the 21st century that we are living in and of course like a the last point 
the postal departments are now being converted into banks so that there's facility with in every village you know when you go to villages and you go and meet people and i'm talking about rare rural india and i've got the had the privilege of knowing rural india from up close now that my constituency is also rural when you go to them you realize that there is only one odd person in the family who is working and that person goes out of the house to go and do work and come back god forbid if something happens to that person accident or any other calamity that family has no bread earner left and in these situations normally people used to wait for governments to be benevolent and say that well we'll give you 50000 rupees or we'll give you 1 lakh rupees it was it was arbitrary now we've come up with a simple scheme because self respect is the most important thing for every family you should not be folding your hands in front of anyone and therefore we come up with a simple scheme of pm suraksha at 12 rupees per year 1 rupees per month there are many many families who who because of an accident suffered and now have the have been in a way blessed with this support immediate support at times of need and of course we have pm jyoti bima yojana people who to whom insurance companies would never go to are now being insured it's not just the government servants who have a pension every person can have a pension there has to be a a system a scheme thought for them that has been crores of peop people 19 crore people are now benefited with the combination of all of these schemes 19 crore people means 19 crore families being touched when the prime minister spoke of creating toilets he said let the whole country work towards creating toilets we were in a way working towards what mahatma gandhi once wished it happens in the country not only that i remember and all of you would remember that when we are driving or when we are going in the rural areas or even in urban areas if you see somebody defecating in the open we turn our faces away this is what we've been taught in our culture that we look away out of respect for that person but today we have a prime minister who does not look away he ensures that people do not have to defecate in the open he doesn't look away with from the problems he faces the problems and he finds a solution many many years ago i was uh, traveling with some of the international athletes they had come down and i was traveling with them we were going through the rural areas and there were people defecating in the open they found it very strange they took out their mobile phones to record it at that point it the is it's occasions like this that you feel ashamed that why does your country not have what they have and then obviously you need someone in the government to be able to take those strong decisions so we now have 7 and a half 7.25 crore toilets built in the whole country and with this it's just not respect but it's also better health imagine a person who has to restrict for relieving themselves to only morning hours or late night hours if you try and do that you will realize how difficult it is and so it's it has health benefits and mother is always the nucleus of a family if the mother is healthy everyone in the family will be healthy and these toilets have ensured that the dropout rates of the school girls is also reduced in schools the mothers are more healthier and they have a sense of respect as well 3.6 lakh villages are now open defecation free food security has been ensured direct bank transfer if you recollect i said the bank accounts that were opened are the gateway to stopping corruption in this country 431 schemes 92 ministries all these schemes 
the money is now going through a direct bank transfer to the people. There are gas connections which were which were over and above the use of a family. But they were all being subsidized. Today the subsidy is going only to the right people. So 20 crore people are getting subsidy into the bank account. And large number of money has been saved because of that. 69 crores is being sent as subsidy directly to the bank accounts. Many useless gas connections have now been removed. 3 lakh 65,000 crores money is going into the bank uh, via bank transfers to the bank accounts to the beneficiaries. We all realize that India has a very different reputation now in the eyes of the world. Now, I remember a saying by Alexander many, many centuries ago where he said that I am not afraid of an army of sheep being led by a lion. Uh, he said that I, I'm not afraid of an army of lions being led by a sheep. But I'm afraid that in case it's an army of lions being led by a lion. So India has always been a strong nation. But ne we've never had a strong prime minister of late. And here is one prime minister who's made his leadership felt throughout the world. And because of that, we are now respected in all the various forums, international forums. Our GDP is rising when the world's GDP is, is around 4%. Our GDP is increasing. We've always had yoga, which has been part of our culture. But today, yoga is celebrated across the world. And United Nations has, has decided on a date, 21st of June, as an international yoga day. The role of a country, because of our growing economy, because of large number of uh, youth in our country, because of the fact that we are becoming the greatest, the biggest production house, is again we have a very strong say in the climate change. For the last 10 decades, and when I say last 10 decades, I mean from the time 2004 to 2014. 2004 to 2014, there was not a single modernization done with the armed forces of our country. And now we moved ahead to strengthening our armed forces, to modernizing them. For the first time, our soldiers, with the permission of Government of India, with the backing of the Prime Minister, went across the borders Rotation and hit the enemy in their own camps. We carried out the surgical strikes. We sent out a message to the world that India will not accept terrorism in our, in, happening in our backyard and we will hit back when it is required. The armed forces again had been asking for one rank, one pension from 40 years. So the governments before had not moved on to it. In less than one year, we gave one rank, one pension. The status of the country is so strong now that with all the forums, economic forums, the United Nations, and all these places, the role of India is highly respected. Technology is touching everyone. You have your mobile phones. When you travel, you need navigation. You talk to each other. The farmers need technology. The, the climate needs to be predicted. You're all watching television. You're sending live broadcasts through your simple gadgets. Everything requires technology. And it requires the support of satellite. Today, we are self-reliant. Earlier, even our armed forces was dependent on satellites of other countries. Today, we not only have our own satellites, we've given satellites to SARC as well. The SARC nations are friendly nations all, all around with the responsibility that India has, has provided a satellite to them. We now have the capacity and we did because we have to catch up with the developed countries. We launched 104 satellites in a single, single launch. Farmers 
are our priority. And the, the slogan that uh, was given earlier by Lal Bahadur Shastri Ji, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, we've taken it forward and we've implemented it. So how do, how do we, and with the commitment, how do we increase the income of farmers from now and we double it by 2022? So there has to be technology used there. So technology which was earlier restricted laboratories are now being taken to the farms. We're using markets. I remember when I was, uh, I was competing in the US and I, went, I used to be competing and traveling in the villages and I saw a place which said FM 111 or FM 115 and I asked my friend, I just, what is this FM? And he says, this means farm to market. Roads, rural roads in America are, are named FM, farm to market. So those farm to market roads was first developed here by Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji when he came up with Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Today we have gone beyond that and we have provided market to the farmers. On a mobile phone the farmers now know what are the rate of their produce. They are not dependent on the mandi which is there closest to them physically. They have access to all the mandis. They can, they can sell their product at a better price to the mandi that they feel is giving them the right price. Similarly, soil health card, use of fertilizers, neem coating of uh, urea. I mean, again, in UPA time, 30% of urea was neem coated. Why 30%? Why not 70, why not 100%? Why the remaining 70%? Your large amount of urea is pilfered. The subsidy used to go directly to the factory. The urea was pilfered. And it all goes, goes into the black economy. Today, as soon as we came, our intention was very clear. And we neem coated the entire urea. Look at the amount that we've committed to farmers. 11 lakh crore is the farm credit that is available to them. Tax incentives have been given for activities post-harvest. The bamboo, which was till now a tree and therefore could not be cut, has been converted into grass so that farmers can utilize the, the, uh, the, the bamboos for various produce. MSP used to be at the whims and fancies of government. Now it has been, there is a formula to it, it's been earmarked one and a half times of the production cost is going to be the MSP. We've increased it to 1.5 times. There's 20 lakh ton produce, which used to be 1.5 lakh ton earlier. That's the stock of pulses that we have. This is the amount of all there in front of you, how we've used the various technology to improve the farming capabilities, the micro irrigation fund which is available to the farmers. Again, what I've already spoken of, connecting all the mandis, giving through mobile technology to the farmers, having access to all the mandis so that they can know the right price. Earlier, whenever there used to be any calamity and the crop would be destroyed because of, uh, say, um, um, heavy rains or, uh, or something else, it used to be 50% damage to the crops and then you would get compensation. The moment our government came, we reduced it to 33%. Not just that. Earlier in UPA government time, only a standing crop if the standing crop was destroyed, only then would you get compensated, that to 50%. Now, even a harvested crop, even a newly sown crop, if it is destroyed, the compensation is provided when the destruction is more than 33%. Families of the diseased farmers, four lakh, uh, a support of 4 lakh rupees, increased from 2.5 lakh rupees. If you look at the right at the bottom one, you will see the state, the, the, the fund which is there for the state for all the, uh, the calamities that, that is there is risen 82%. Again, the amount has gone up from 33,000 crores 
So 61,000 crores from this period, 2015 to 2020. That state disaster relief fund. So I've again spoken of this, how Neem has been quoted and how corruption has been stopped. <clears throat> Youth are the greatest strength. And therefore, this window of opportunity which India has, we have to take advantage of this window of opportunity. Large number of youth, they need to be skilled, they need to have the opportunity to grow. If they want to start their own setup, they need to have funding for that setup. Companies outside need to have faith and trust in our country to invest in our country. All this, this whole atmosphere has to be created so that the large number of youth that we have in our country do not miss this window of opportunity that our country has got. For the same reason, we've created utter tinkering labs. We've created, for, uh, for handicapped ch children, we've created 50,000 special toilets for them so that they don't have to drop out of schools because of lack of facilities. The utter tinkering labs is a very interesting thing. Young children who have new ideas, new concepts, they need to be given these facilities in the schools itself. That is how innovation happens. And that is why we've created 2400 utter tinkering labs so that children, students who have new ideas can work on them. The, the UGC has, gra has granted autonomy to 60 universities. We believe that universities need to be run by experts. And therefore, we've given them that autonomy now. There's a national testing agency to conduct all professional examinations. The various types of reforms have been carried out in education. If you see the top right, we've created many IITs, IIMs, medical colleges, Navodhya Vidyales, because education cannot be restricted to metro cities. The startups. When you start a company, you need to have benefit of tax exemptions. So we've created tax relief for three consecutive years out of a block of seven years. Any three years they can ask for. Similarly, there's a very large amount of funding coming through mudra loans. Skill training, like I mentioned earlier, is just not degrees. Now you need to be skill trained. So skill training centers have come up all across the country. One crore young children have access to, uh, young adults have access to these uh, training uh, centers. This is the first time that the government of India has created a platform for school students which is nearly equivalent to a Commonwealth Games or a Nation Games. The Prime Minister believes that until and unless we all are physically fit, India will not become a healthy and a strong nation. His vision was, can we give a platform to our young children so that more and more can dream of Olympics? more and more can aspire to be to have uh, participated and competed in an environment which is equal to commonwealth games so for the first time school national championship was conducted and 100 hours of live broadcast was done we are picking up 1000 children from here and giving them 5 lakh rupees per year for 8 years in a row so that at a time when nobody sponsors them, it is the Indian government with the taxpayers' money coming in to sponsor these future champions of a country. Like I mentioned right in the beginning, women are the nucleus of a family. And anything, their self-respect, their health, their education, their sports, anything that you do for them, is going to be doubly or triply helpful to this country. And that is why, if you notice, many, many families who live in the rural areas, right in the beginning I mentioned to you that what happens to the large number of people who are residing in rural areas, who do not have the benefits of the city, 
Who takes care of those families? Another answer here, that since a woman of the house, the mother, sister, they are the ones who are nurturing the family, they need to be given more time with themselves. So a lot of them spend large number of hours just cooking, gathering wood, cooking food for the family. Now all that has been reduced because now they have gas connections with themselves. So the food is cooked much faster. The women have more time. They don't have to go to, they don't have to wait till, uh, till night or before morning to go for toilets. It's all there, so the health is better. All this time they will now devote to nurturing the families. And I know you are, you're very aware, all of you. And therefore, when I say that women are also working in the field, in the agriculture areas, you would know that this is a fact. So the women are lit literally working everywhere, nurturing the families, working in the, in the crops also, in the, in the agriculture fields also, also trying to do something to, to, cre to, to generate money for the family. So that's why we've come up with the, in, you, you'll see, we'll come up with mudra loans for women. The child needs to be healthy. That's why we've come up with the scheme of, of uh, portion of nutrition for young children because the mother and the child both need to be healthy. For working women, we've come up with 26 weeks of maternity leave so that the, both the mother and the child are healthy. Prime Minister has been always been talking about uh, uh, about girl child and how important the girl child is. It's already evident that the sex ratio is now changing. This is a behavioral change. It is not for any vote bank politics. It's a very simple and straight. If you want to strengthen the country, there are many things that are apolitical and therefore only a person of the, of the, of the level of the prime minister should address them and strengthen them. Rising enrollment, so the, the, like I mentioned earlier, the dropping, the dropout rate of the girls is reducing now. I spoke about mudra loan, four lakh crore rupees. You know, for me it was an eye opener. Before 2014, I was given fig, so when I joined, I was given figures. 33, 35,000 crores used to be the money given out for entrepreneurship for the loans. I thought 35,000 crores was quite a bit. 4 lakh crores has been given in the last 4 years. 4 lakh crores. And 10 crore people have benefited through this mudra loan. 10 crore people. 10 crore people means at least 10 crore families because if one person is earning, then he takes care of the rest of the people. So 10 crore families have been taken, taken care of. And if you account for 4 or 5 members in each family, 50 crore people have been benefited by through this mudra loan. And 50,000 uh, 50, and below, the lowest loan is 90% of this mudra yojana. So out of 4 lakh crores, 90% has gone only for the lowest amount of loan. So these would be for somebody who's trying to sell vegetables, somebody who's trying to set up a very small shop for something, maybe a barber or someone, maybe a, a basic vehicle that is coming as a taxi. Uber, Ola, a lot, a lot of these people who are now gaining self-employment. 70% of the mudra beneficiaries are women. Again, we come back to the same point, that the nucleus of the family is working the hardest and we provided them the maximum support. We also have for the uh, SC, ST and OBC, the stand-up loans. Nine crore women have, have benefited through the mudra and stand-up India. This is something that puts a head in shame any time, anywhere it happens. And therefore, apart from the behavioral change that's required in the society, some very strong punitive measures had to be announced. And our government has gone ahead and announced these punitive measures. Again, coming back to the nucleus of the family, women were not allowed to do Hajj Yatra alone without the presence of a, a male guardian. We've done away with that. We've changed that rule. And that was, by the way, only a rule made within India, not outside. We've, of course, historic uh, steps towards, uh, towards uh, uh, ending triple talaq. We've, we've moved ahead. 
we have, we have yet to cross the Rajya Sabha, but we, we have the support of the people and Lok Sabha. Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojda, a very interesting one. I'll of course come ahead also. Uh, this, but a lot, a large number of women have been benefited through this. Passport rules for singles mother, single mothers have all been, been amended and been made easier for them. Social justice. Again, the pre-matrix scholarship for SC or OBC has all been increased from, from what it was to two and a half lakhs. We've 3.3 3 crore students have been benefited through these scholarship, which total up to seven and a half thousand crores. Accessibility of various uh, stadiums, schools is being ensured. Special camps are being organized for uh, distribution of uh, various devices and aids. We've added. Uh, speech and language disability as well as part of the disability and acid attack victims have also been included in the uh, rights of persons with disabilities so we've amended that act uh, earlier there were seven types of disabilities which were part of this act we've increased it to 21 Again, penalties for those who are any crimes towards uh, the Divyangs, the disabled people, is being very strictly dealt with. We are ensuring that our icons are remembered, and therefore our maker of the constitution, Dr. Ambedkar, his birthplace, the place where he got his diksha, the place where he studied are all being turned into uh, places of where the youth can visit. A healthy India, now health is a primary thing for everyone and who ensures the health of the large number of people who cannot afford it themselves, again the government of India has planned a scheme for it. The Ayushman Bharat, providing 5 lakh worth of coverage to each Indian, uh, to, to 50 crore people actually and that's been announced and now that's being executed. Ensuring good health of mother and the child, like I mentioned earlier. 1.1 crore antenatal checkups have been done, so many, many health camps have been organized. By 80 lakh pregnant women have been immunized. So it all means that the government, the health department is working, going to the rural areas and ensuring that the mother and child are healthy. Again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, if the mother and the child are healthy, the nation is going to be healthy and strong. It's all being done in a very targeted approach through the scheme and multinodal interventions. Operating on your knee, on your heart, till a couple of years ago used to be only for the well-off people. Stents were very expensive. We've ensured that the cost of the stents has come down. The, the price of the knee implants has been reduced, both of them by about 50 to 70 percent. Affordable medicines are now available in more than 3,000 stores. Dialysis is now on a, on a campaign mode, the dialysis program is being run. There are 497 dialysis units that have, that have been made functional. About 2.5 lakh people have availed of this facility. Immunization program, again revamped and uh, uh, moving ahead on a mission mode. They've completed four phases covering 528 districts. Infrastructure. You know, one of the U.S. presidents very famously said that America has not made the roads. Roads have made America. And therefore, wherever good infrastructure goes, the economy of the place gets better. Everything gets more stronger. We've ensured that lakhs and lakhs kilometers of roads are being made. So two lakh kilometer, two lakh kilometers of road is being made in our country. 
the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, Houses for the Poor. We have a target of one crore houses to be built by 2019. And it's very, in a very democratic manner. In every village, the whole Gram Sabha gets together. And then they decide, the Gram Sabha decides as to who amongst them should get the house. And therefore, it's the most genuine people who get the houses there. So they, they get the money to build, they get the plot of land as well. Our target is that by 2022, nobody will be without a home. To set high standards, to compare, which can be compared to the world, we have uh, identified 100 urban areas which are now being developed as smart cities. If you look at this, the, how the transformation is taking place. Now look at the expenditure on road construction. Look where UPA was 13, 14. Look where NDA is 17, 18. Again, if you see the highways, national highways, and if you see the speed of construction, I think it's all very apparent there. The development of the railways, very, very clear on the slide. What 2013, 14, and from 14 to 18, very clear on the broad gauge as well, as well as the track renewal. Air travel, by the way, it's, it was, a, it was a, a pleasant surprise for me to see that there are more number of people who have traveled in aeroplanes in the year than in the railways. This is how affordable, this is how afford affordable the aircraft travel has become. I'm comparing the airplanes with AC trains. We've capped the, the, the price of the tickets to 2,500. We've ensured that the government is providing them with the necessary subsidy so that they can move, they can fly the aircrafts between smaller cities. Air, air travel now is, is useful for everyone, be it an emergency in health, meeting relatives, for trading, business, anything, it's, it's, it's vital now. Again, our reforms have been keeping in mind what is right for the country. Not for the World Bank politics, but what is right for the country. And we've never, our government has never hesitated to take strong decisions in the, uh, uh, for, the, for the betterment of the country. Uh, like I said before, the GDP of our country is at 7.4, which is absolutely unparalleled anywhere in the world. Ease of doing business, ease of living, both have been connected. If there is ease of doing business, it has to be connected to what benefit does that business bring to a common Indian. And therefore, businesses expansion has to be for the good of the larger number of people. So ease of living has to improve. Banking reforms, again, all these uh, various cases of uh, defaulters. All defaulters are the people who were given loans earlier, before 2014. We are the ones who have brought the attention onto them. Earlier, loans used to be given, large number of loans used to be given for setting up of factories. The factory won't work. And then the further loans used to be given so that the, the loaned money can be paid back. So there used to be loan on loan and, on lo and then on loan. So there were schemes which would keep the loan in perpetuity. And therefore, a common person would never come to know that there's something wrong happening in the economy. All that has been changed now. And an example of Bhushan Steel is very clear. An asset worth 20,000 crore, they had taken a loan of 50,000 crore. All that has been now stopped. 36,000 crores has been recovered from them. 12% is still with the government as assets. And Tata's has been told to take over that. Many more such cases will happen in the future. Labor and their EPFO accounts can now be moved because of the universal account number. 
a good example of Make in India. Before 2014, there were only two manufacturing units for mobile phones in our country. Today, there are 120 factories. Obviously, large number of uh, providing a large number of work as well to the people. I think there's no doubt in this, that right from day one, our government has come and taken very strong steps to curb in, curbing corruption, to bringing in transparency in our governance. Each one of them is self-explanatory. Every step has been taken, not keeping in mind the elections that, are, that keep happening in our country, but keeping in mind that this country has one opportunity to get to become stronger and no stone unturned will be left to make it stronger pmla as you see the bottom one pmla has been amended so that property can be confiscated and now all the defaulters will it's it becomes easier for the government to get money back from them and to hold them accountable Benami property, again, a government that itself has Benami property will never come up with an act. And I'm not surprised that before our tenure, this Benami property act was lying, um, it, it, was, it, was, it wasn't passed by the earlier government. Now that it has been passed, there are a large number of people who are, who are trying to let go of their properties which are not in their names or under fraud names. Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill, again, it strengthens the hand of the government to bring in all fugitives back to the law. Coal auctions, everything, everything over the counter, everything very transparent. Not a single finger raised on the way any of the auctions were done. Even the interviews have been done away for non-gazetted officers so that... Uh, the lobbying and the and the sifarish that always happens is all done away with. Unprecedented speed and scale in transforming the nation is the same set of people who are there in the in bureaucracy. The same officers are there. Yet in the last four years, we as we've demonstrated and as you will see right now, the speed of work of the government has been amazing. It is because of a very strong leadership very committed leadership. Each of these slides is self-explanatory. Be it the national highways, be it the speed of highway construction, average speed of rural road construction is all there. There's been a 62% reduction in the accident. Of course, every single accident is extremely, extremely painful. We have to come down to zero accidents, but we are moving in that direction now. The number of toilets built, 1947 to 2014, six and a half crore toilets were built. In 14 to 18, seven and a half crores, 7.25 crores toilets have been built. Each of them, if you, if you check each one of them, you will realize. If you see the, the fiber optic connectivity to the extreme right, 59 villages between 2011 and 2014 and 1.5 lakh villages after that. When there is a transparent government, you automatically have more people who, 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 are, who, who are there in support of the government. And therefore, the number of taxpayers registered from 65 has gone up to 1 crore. LED bulbs are being distributed across the whole country to the extent of the fact that a large number of electricity bills have been reduced because of the usage of LED, bill, uh, LED bulbs. It's a comparison here. The amount of bank accounts opened is equal to the population of the entire U.S. And like I mentioned earlier, more than 19 crore people are now supported by various schemes where it's Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana or Suraksha Yojana. We've ensured that 18,000 villages 
which were left unelectrified, which means not even a, not even a single electric pole was there in those 18,000 villages, now has electricity right up to the village. But we are not satisfied there. We, the moment we achieved 100% success rate in connecting these villages with electricity, our na next target was that we will connect every house by t December 2018. So it's Sobhagya it will ensure that electrification of four crore unelectrified homes by 2018. This is the income tax returns. 2013-14, it has jumped from there to more than double in 17-18. Just check, I pressed the wrong button. Just get me back to that slide, please. Just go down, go down, yeah. Oh, no, we have finished. Yeah, that's the last one. Thank you, gentlemen. Not tired, I hope? All right, thank you so much. Is there any questions? Your name and organization, please. Your name and organization. Yeah. My name is Ratan Kumar. Hello. Hello. Yeah. My name is Ratan Kumar. I am working for IBC Channel as well as for Simplicity Mobile App in Coimbatore, which is the largest platform over here. See, my question is there are around 11,800 and above portals over there, all over India, and uh, around 2,500 are doing it very well over here. Portals? But there, I mean, web portals. Web portals. Online portals. But it is not being given a recognition for this thing. The we have been pleading for this to give a recognition as a press. Has the government has taken any initiative on giving it, uh, doing like that? In fact, overall, there are about 56,000 web portals in our country. And I have, uh, whenever I meet uh, media houses, especially those who have uh, web portals, I've asked them to create an association of your own so that like the NBA, like, uh, 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 like the GEC channels, everyone, you can have your own self-regulation happening. So we are, we are completely supportive of any move by the web portals to come together as an association and, uh, and create a code of conduct for themselves, like all the other journalists do. Sir, my, my name is Martha Chalam, Captain TV. Uh, last year, uh, National Youth Award, sir, I'm also. Uh, rural Youth Welfare is near your Kendra, but few years not functioning near your Kendra. Any reason, sir? No, Nehru Yuva Kendra is completely functional, uh, and so is the NSS. Uh, we had the national awards for NSS also in this year, and we will continue to have it. All through. Okay, thank you. Can I have some more people right now? Let's, let's just go around first yeah. and then we'll come back. On this side, please. So, if I walk from A and I, I'm talking about this topic. It's on, no? The fuel prices are just uh, gas addiction and uh, they provided to the rural masses like it's like uh, people are very much enjoying that uh, gas connections. But what about the fuel prices? Fuel prices are uh, <coughs> every day. What initiative the government has taken? So I think the petroleum minister has already spoken on this. Uh, there are, uh, uh, on the fuel, there are taxes which are applied by the states and the center. And the states are unwilling to let go of the taxes that they are applying right now. So a 
a, a talk that few may come under GST sometime ahead. So there is discussion going on that front as well. But I'd like to make a point here. Uh, of course, the central government is working on a long-term basis for the fuel prices uh, so as to bring comfort to the large number of people who are using fuel. Uh, you should, for your benefit, I'd like to reiterate that fuel is now uh, unregulated, prices are unregulated. But the point that I'm going to make here right now is something much larger, and that is somewhere about 4 crore people are paying taxes in this country. And there are 125 crore Indians. The gas subsidy that is going, the large number of roads that are being constructed, the welfare measures that are being taken, the, the revival of the whole economy is of course supported largely by the taxpayers of this country. So certainly I'd like to salute the tax player, taxpayers, but the point that I'm making is when you put money back into the economy and when all these roads are constructed, when more youth from the rural areas have access to better skill, then all these people further serve the cause of the taxpayers themselves because better factories, better uh, employability in factories, more, serve, more people available for the service industry. So more and more people get attached to the companies, to the services which are provided by the taxpayers themselves. So it actually boosts the whole economy together. Sir, Mahil Vaganan from the Times of India. Uh, sir, BJP has lost multiple uh, uh, bipoles uh, across the country, Lok Sabha as well as Assembly seats. What are you, your views on that, sir? The, these achievements, uh, have, have these achievements not transformed into votes there? There is a reason that all the ministers visit various uh, uh, cities where, uh, these are cities where the media is very active. And uh, certainly it's because of that reason that I'm here. We believe that India does not reside only in Delhi or in the metro cities. And therefore, it's important for all of us, for Government of India to connect to the very large number of journalists present in uh, regional areas. It's very important that the work of the government, that reaches the masses, and that's where all the journalists play a very important role. The, the, the uh, schemes, uh, the policies, once they reach the public, it's only then would we be aware of whether any modification is required in the policy or the policy is good and there's any other sort of feedback. And that's why it's very important that people are aware as to what benefits have been created by the government so that we can further improve it or know what should be our path ahead. We are very confident. There are few things that our government has done which is absolutely unprecedented. And because of that, we are confident that the large number of people of this country will realize and then vote for their future. And this is that we have worked for this country in, with a vision to make it a transformative India, to transform it into a new India. We've, we've hit upon the root of all corruption. So be it the direct bank transfers or be it various laws, be it the Benami property, be it the RERA Act for real estate, be it uh, doing away with all sorts of middlemen which used, usually float around the corridors of power, be it doing away with the red light that the, the, the ministers used to put over their vehicles, be it doing away with discretionary quotas of ministers. Everything that we have done is, has been done to transform India to a new India by creating development in this country. And we believe that people will see this and vote for us. You are all are very learned journalists, and I'm sure more than me, you are aware as to what are the uh, subjects with the center, what are the subjects with the states. And uh, yet, uh, in, a, in, a, in a press conference by a central minister, I'm asked a question about law and order that the center should take control of. 
If you so wish, please raise your hands that center should take control of the law and order in states, sir. All right, next one. But having said that, each and every time, each and every time, any incident that has happened, we, despite realizing that it's a state subject, the central ministers of MIB, Ministry of Information Broadcasting, have made a statement that this is not acceptable in a country like ours. The journalists must be free without any fear to write about issues that face the society, the larger public, and the issues that need to be, um, uh, need to be written for informing the government. This is a must. And the, the, the people who are uh, responsible for the law and order must create an environment that not only journalists but everybody else is also safe. Yes, please. So one more question. <clears throat> Sir, is BJP worried about uh, Tamil Nadu? Uh, does BJP have a game plan for uh, Tamil Nadu with regard to 2019 elections? We are worried about the country as a whole. We want the country to become stronger. There's a commitment with which every, uh, every member of parliament, the, every uh, person in our party is, is committed to and is involved for working. I think our major concern is, like I mentioned earlier, even if you take our decisions, our decisions have been so strong and bold and decisive that all of uh, the, uh, the election pundits would probably say that you know these are not decisions to be taken for electoral politics. But we've still taken those decisions. So without fear of losing or winning an election, we want to strengthen this country. And we hope that through people like yourselves, who are very aware, you are able to write about our actions and also criticize us where our actions are wrong. But let the people understand as to reason and logic behind all these actions. It is for the first time I feel that an average Indian is being represented truly, an average Indian's feelings are being represented truly at the central government. Thank you, sir. Sorry? Um, so his question is, yeah, what he says is that most of the journalists are not getting the benefits given by the central government. That's what question. So central government gives PIB accreditation to the, uh, the uh, journalists who are covering the central government. <laughs> Even from your media house, those who are in Delhi and covering the central government would be, will be given PIB accreditation. Good afternoon. My name is Lakshmi Loon from Deccan Chronicle. Uh, you spoke a lot about the achievements of your government. So can you frankly tell us the weak areas and how you're planning to work on it? Because you have one more year left. So any weaknesses of your government that you've missed upon and your plans or the challenges that you've faced and how you plan to overcome them? You know, it's a very, uh, very, interesting, uh, very interesting point. If you consider this, having seen this, the, the short brief presentation I gave you, the various numbers that I reflected there, this government is utilizing the same bureaucracy that existed before 2014. And yet, because of a sense of commitment and because of a method of governance, repeatedly, regularly, our Prime Minister is holding meetings, bringing all the various departments together and giving a timeline for achievements. So like a private sector, we are given deadlines. Every three months, the Prime Minister asks us, what is the ease of business that you've done? What is the ease of living that has been created by your actions of ease of business? How have you how have you made redundant some of the rules of your ministry which are no longer valid? How many times have you visited the grassroots areas to give me feedback from there? These are very regular meetings. If you notice all the numbers that we reflected, they, all these numbers have been achieved because of a very, very targeted approach. And therefore, I think 
the strength of the government is that we've been able to communicate with the people. We've created a two-way feedback through our social media, etc. Also, the visits of ministers. And therefore, uh, our intention is to keep working in this direction. So to answer your question, we need to work more in the same direction. The path is very clear. And that is why our slogan is Saf Niyat or Sahi Vikas. Our intentions are clear and our development is also very, very clear. I hear, uh, sorry, time for the meeting. Sir, the two tukuri sterile to work hard thala. Matti aras bande Tamilaga thala vada puri ina padugalai mar naranthir karu ko or anuda pongora teriwi kila. Yedu yedu pati ungalode karithi. Sir, on the sterile issue of two tukuri, the central government has not reacted or not even said that condolences are something as well. No, I beg to disagree. The central government is very clearly. Uh, spoken against the actions of the state government here. We have condemned the action by the police. We have condemned the action of the state government. And uh, things were allowed to go out of hand. And this is certainly, it's, it's certainly been mentioned in the most uh, harshest of the manner. Console the people who had lost 13 lives. Prime Minister is certainly concerned with each and every activity, uh, each and every activity happening in a country, be it a good activity or be it something, uh, something that is sad. Every, the, in the entire country, there are incidents that are happening, good and bad, everywhere. The Prime Minister is certainly concerned about that. We all represent the Prime Minister. If I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here because I represent the Prime Minister through his ministry of INB. And so therefore, whenever a minister speaks, he is speaking with the authority of the Prime Minister. Both people. Again, uh, I'm, I am addressing very learned people of the society who would know very clearly what are concurrent subjects, what are state subjects, and what are central subjects. I am being asked directly of sports infrastructure in Coimbatore uh, and that what central government would do. Uh, I am sure you all know that it's a state subject. And the central government is supposed to take care of those athletes who reach the national level once they go beyond the state. But nevertheless, sir, I can assure you, every single action of the Ministry of Sports has been beyond our mandate. If we've created the Kelo India School Games, we are working on the broad basing of sports, and therefore on the recommendations of our adding facilities at different places. We are creating uh, sports infrastructure so that young children at different places also have access to sport. Our target is by 2019, we will have 20 districts of India which will have a sports school uh, dedicated for sports. By uh, next four years, 150 districts will have a sports school so that these young children do not have to go any, anywhere else. In fact, now that I'm speaking of sports, in Kelo India, we brought down the, the age of participation to 16 and 17 years of age. But that is not enough. We will very soon go down to 8 years and 12 years. And very soon means 2018. We will do it this year. All this is being done by the central government. And this sports is a, a state subject. So in a way, we are encouraging the state governments to rise up to the standard that the center is setting. Sir, I'm Kamaraj. I'm a rep representing Kaveri News Tamil. Uh, sir, actually, uh, the rising uh, uh, internet media houses are a uh, concern issue. So it's been uh, some 11,800 uh, media houses uh, all around India. Uh, do we have any uh, work, uh, working reports on how we are going to organize those sectors? And there is also an, another issue that uh, in the concerning Tamil Nadu, 
uh, whenever there is an issue, the government is taking uh, its hands on the channels and uh, taking the channels off the, off, uh, I mean, off, off the air. So it's, it's been a concerned issue. Being a minister of the same department, how do you see this problem and uh, how are we going to organize every reporter in the whole? Sir, the central government is not taking any channel off air, right? It is the state government, if at all, not the central government, number one. Number two, IT, your web portals come under IT ministry, right? But nevertheless, we are speaking, we believe in self-regulation. And if for internet, you don't need licenses to create a web portal, right? So therefore, if at all you feel that there is a policy that needs to be made, I, like I mentioned a little while earlier, you should all form an association and ask the, firstly, self-regulate yourself. Or would you like to be regulated by us? Uh, you, you let us know. Whatever you want, we'll do it. But I believe you should regulate yourself. But if you want any support, you should ask the IT ministry if there's any support that can be provided to you. Thank you, Thank you so much.